guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a sexy date night kind of makeup look. And as always, I'm starting out with no makeup on and the first thing I'm doing is using an orange color corrector to get rid of any dark pigmentation under my eyes and around my mouth. I absolutely love this one. It's by Kryolan Dermacolor. If any of you guys are wondering which contact lenses I'm wearing, these are by Desio Eyes. They're in the color Wild Green and they're part of their Attitude Collection. For foundation, I'm gonna be using Kryolan's Dermacolor in the color DFD. This is my favorite foundation. I've been using it for years and years and I like to apply it with a buffing brush. For concealer, I'm gonna be using a foundation stick by Makeup Forever. This one is in the shade 153. It's such a nice consistency to be used as a concealer. It's great for foundation as well. And I like to apply it on all the areas that I wanna highlight. And for underneath my eyes, I just use a foundation brush to apply it. Also, I like to kind of buff it out a little bit before I start the actual blending process. I'm just gonna use the same buffing brush that I used earlier and I'm pressing this foundation into my skin and I'm kinda keeping it very concentrated in the areas that I wanna highlight. I don't wanna smudge this all over my face because then it's just gonna look like foundation, it's not gonna look like highlighted areas. I did do a little bit of cream contouring using another Cryolan Derma Color. It's a darker shade that I use. I really like this for just a slight hint of contouring, not anything too deep or dark. To set everything, I'm gonna be using RCMA's No Color Powder. This is a really finely milled powder. It doesn't have any color. It's also not gonna have any flashback, and it's great for setting the skin. Always use a synthetic brush to buff out any like laugh lines underneath your eyes, over your lids. You wanna smooth them out before you set them with a powder. When you do that, your powder is gonna look much more smoother. You're not gonna get creasing, and it's gonna last a lot longer too. For my face powder, I am using a MAC Mineralized Powder. I absolutely love using face powders for contouring instead of actual bronzers. These give you the same effect, but they don't have that muddy or shimmery look that a lot of bronzers have. I'm gonna be using this Contour Kit by Glow Minerals. The darkest shade is what I like to use. And I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna chisel out this double chin right here. To contour my nose, I'm gonna use the same contouring powder and this brush by Morphe. And I like to take my nose contouring all the way into the inner parts of my brows. This is just like the contouring shape that I create on the sides as well. Um, I find that that shape works the best. I also like to contour a little bit under my lip to give it that illusion of being more pouty. And and then with a buffing brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth out all that contouring. You don't wanna leave any like streaks or lines, it just looks awkward, especially on the nose. For highlighting, I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter, which is Becca's Champagne Pop. I just like to use a small brush to highlight specifically in the areas that I want, like on the upper part of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, over my cupid's bow, and then also a dot right in the center of the nose. All right, let's brush out our brows because we don't want any foundation or powder to be stuck in them. And once I've done that, I'm actually gonna spray my face with Max Fix Plus. This is gonna get rid of any of that cakiness. Once that's dry, I'm gonna go in and do my actual brows. So I'm using a Lancome eyebrow gel. I'm gonna go ahead and brush out my brows in the exact shape that I want them to sit. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna wait for this to dry. So it looks white right now, but it will dry clear. And then I'm gonna take an eyebrow pencil by MAC, it's called Spiked. I'm gonna use it to make small strokes going exactly in the direction of my natural hair growth. And just work slowly, try to get the shape that you want, and leave a few gaps, okay? It gives your brows a much more natural look if you leave those gaps. To clean up under the brows, I like to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. I just like putting it under my brows to highlight them up a bit, and also if you have any strays, it'll kind of cover them up. And it actually acts as a really good base for your eye makeup. So once I've smudged that out, I'm gonna go into my eye makeup and I'm using my bronzer as my transition color. I've been doing that lately for my last few tutorials and I feel like it works really good with the rest of my makeup. And it's always just like the perfect transition color. 
All the shadows I'm going to use today are from this Tartlet palette. The first one that I'm using is Dreamer. I'm not using a brush that was as fluffy as the last one. It's just a little bit more of a concentrated brush, but I'm using this Dreamer shade to kind of add some depth to my crease. Just take a little bit of time and keep blending until you get the actual shade that you want. All right, next I'm taking the darkest color, which is Bombshell, and I'm applying that into the crease using a small eyeliner brush. I'm trying to make this a very precise cut crease, so I found an angled brush that's like an eyeliner or an eyebrow angle brush works really great for that. I'm just creating a thin line going in the same direction as my crease, and then once I'm done with the line and I'm happy with the shape, I'm gonna blend it out a little bit. Okay, so once you're happy with the way the cut crease looks, go in with a concealer or a foundation and fill in your lid right underneath that line that you created. This is gonna clean up any imperfections and it's also gonna be a base for the eyeshadow we're gonna apply next. And now I'm taking Free Spirit, which is the lightest color in the palette, and I'm gonna apply that to the inner two thirds of my lids, just kind of pressing it on with a small eyeshadow brush. And then with the second darkest shade, which is called Force of Nature, I'm applying that onto the outer third of my eyelids. I love how a dark, bold, winged eyeliner looks with a cut crease. So I'm gonna use a liquid liner from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm gonna draw a thin line. Next, I'm gonna use that same nude pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills to highlight my waterline just in the center. And now I'm using the lightest color from that Tarte palette again to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. To give my eyes a more doll-like effect, I'm gonna use the darkest color from the Tarte palette and I'm gonna draw a really thin line on the outer third of my lower lash line. And of course, no look would be complete without lashes. The ones I'm using today are by Kiss Lash Couture and I'm so impressed by these. They look amazing and they were super comfortable. For my blush, I'm sticking to a mauve color. This is a really old one. It's discontinued by L'Oreal. For my lips, I'm gonna first use a dark lip liner by MAC Cosmetics. I'll link everything below. And then for my lipstick, I chose this Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick by Too Faced Cosmetics in the color Lady Balls. This is like the most beautiful red, guys, and the consistency and texture and just how this lipstick looks. I was so amazed by them. I'm gonna go buy them in a ton of other colors. For mascara, I used the Miss Your Big by Lancome for my top and bottom lashes. And that's it, guys. Tell me how you like this look i really love the way it turned out i just think it's super glam perfect for a date night don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell also follow at beauty by Binny on instagram love you guys Mwah.